everybody how's everyone doing tonight today is tuesday july 2nd 2019 and it is 701 p.m hello 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 to everybody that's in the chat room chat room oh i see sandra's beaded heart treasures how you doing and we'll wait for a few other people to roll in um i'm doing a uh, a tote bag tonight and um i will have a picture of it in the upper corner when um, when I switch to the overhead camera and this is a paid pattern so I will not be doing the pattern uh, exactly okay I'm going to be showing you the knots that I'm doing um, but I'm not going to show you her design or the length of the cord or anything like that um, she's a very talented artist and I want to respect her copyright um, her name is, I just closed it. How do you like that? Hang on a second. Oh, I'm just not with it. Come on, where is your, show me your page there. Come on. Okay, here we go. All right, here's the information. Um, the YouTube channel is Macrame Magic Knots, and that's also the same name as her her uh, Etsy store. Um, and the the artist is Tanya Zivanovic. She is from Croatia, and she has a lot of beautiful, beautiful stuff. Let's take a look. This is her Etsy store. And she's got lots and lots and lots of beautiful, beautiful patterns. She sells yarn, um, you know, the cord to make all these things. A lot of her tutorials are free. Um, I'm guessing that she probably uh, does not speak fluent English, um, and therefore uh, she doesn't talk on her YouTube channel. Um, but she does everything so well that you're not missing anything <coughs> excuse me so um, like I said she's got gorgeous gorgeous patterns and she has tutorials and I um, I bought a tutorial um, if you get if you buy the kit to make the bag then you uh, get the tutorial for free um, but I bought her pattern and I'll show you the tutorial there it is right there it comes in English or Spanish I believe um, and when you purchase it it will be an instant download and it's currently on sale right now for ten dollars and twenty five cents so if you think this bag is pretty and I mean wow isn't it um, check it out and uh, pick up the pattern if you like um, so that is the end of her Etsy store. This is her YouTube channel. Um, she's got a lot of subscribers, you know, 82,460. Someday maybe I'll be that lucky, but I doubt it. Anyway, it would be nice. It would be nice to hit that 100,000 and get my play button. But um, this is her channel, and she's got um, tons and tons of videos. So um, check out her channel. Uh, the link to her channel and to her Etsy store are in the description box down below. And um, so, yeah, that is where we are. Let me say hi to folks in the chat room. We've got Carrie from Epiphany Craft Studio. Hello, my darling daughter-in-law. And then there is Mr. Roy, Bootsy Sweethearts. I hope you are doing well. Um... And we'll wait, you know, we'll give it a few more minutes, but I, I'm not going to, I'm not going to, uh, I'll just, you know, carry on anyway. So I am using, um, this, this type of cord and this type of cord, and this is not red. It is like really hot pink and gold. So there you go. It's not red. And, um, I'm not going to give you the cord lengths or anything. I do not remember what the name of this, this, that I'm doing right now, um, this knot is, but it makes a cord, and it's, excuse me, I have hiccups, I had to wolf d dinner down real, real fast, um, 
I have a piece of paper over here so I don't get confused by all this mess back here. Hello, Linda, my love. How are you? And I'm assuming that you posted something to the flock that you want to show us. Right, Linda? Let me go check out the flock and see what you've got there. I did get a notice that you uh, posted something, so let's check it out. Oh, that's epic. Let's check this out, people. Check this out. Oh, my gosh. This is an old, I think, a, like a brownie camera. Yep, yeah, brownie. And there is one of those viewfinders um, on there. That's her little brownie camera robot. Oh, my God, I can't stand it. That is epic. She's got, look, looks like a piece of motherboard there. I love that. That is so awesome, Linda. You do amazing stuff. Yes, you do. Did that cure the hiccups? <laughs> Who knows, Roy? I'll take a swig of water and we'll see what happens. But yeah, that's adorable, Linda. Oh, there's Janie. How are you, Janie? Safe travels. Be safe on the road. There's a lot of lunatics out there. Uh, Janie is our um, our resident trucker. So uh, so yeah. Let's let me switch back to that screen so I can see what the heck is going on. Cause you know, gotta know, gotta know. Okay. Um, hello there, Shelly. How are you? Okay. So this is kind of a. a it's like a square knot, sort of. If you look at it, I'll zoom in a bit. It, these, the loops that it makes kind of makes a square. And we used to do this with something else. I'm wondering, oh, you're on your way home for four days. Well, that's good. Um, it kind of, it makes a square. And as I recall, I think we did something sim similar to this with um gum wrappers is anybody old enough to remember that you'd make the long the long tube of gum wrappers it'd be like a square tube but anyway so uh this is the start uh i've done a few i've done i guess about an inch and a half or so here so far yeah an inch and a half oh linda remembers it so i can't remember if that is if that's the gum wrapper thing that we used to work on or not but anyway um, I have one coil that is marked um, and that is you basically that's your driving <clears throat> yes the key yes the key ring lace yes uh, this is your driving uh, wad of cord yes and so that's always going to be the one that you start with first and that always goes like that to the to the over this one, and then you're taking um, the other one, which is over here. Let me back up. Let me let's do this so you can actually follow along. Okay, so we're starting with this one, and it goes like that. So then you take the opposite one and you do this, like that. Then you take this one and stick it through here. And this one and stick it through here and then you just start cinching everything up and as you're cinching it up you'll see the square that it starts to make and then you just snug it down it's a pretzel there it is yes it is okay and you snug it down good the cord that I am using uh, is uh, this here stuff right here and I got it on um, eBay it was cheaper than it was like 40 cents cheaper a skein uh, buying it on eBay than buying it on Amazon so that's what I'm using this is four millimeter 
so now that we've now that we've completed that we're just going to do it again okay so we're taking this one and we're putting it here we're putting this one over here and then this one is going under here like that this one is going in here like that and then you're just snugging everything up Yes, Andre. <laughs> You're going to have to pay attention, yep. Okay, and you just snug it down. So, once again, this is the driving one. We put it over here. We put this one over here. This one goes in here. And this one goes in here. And snug it up. Hey, Spanky, how are you, love? It's over a hundred with you? You're in Indiana. Oi. That's hot. Your craft room, yeah, I remember going home from work on Long Island and my den would be 96 degrees. Okay, so, again, that's going there. This is going there, and this one's going here, and this one is going here. You're sweating your, your tushy off. Yes, sirree. Hello there, Emily. How are you? It's 95 in Georgia. Uh, it is, what is the current temperature? Come on. Uh, it is, I don't want Brookhaven. It is 73 degrees in Lansing. And we're not expecting any, we're not expecting any rain, but we've had pop-up thunderstorms for the last couple of days. I'm really kind of hoping that we do get the pop-up thunderstorms because I have not watered my um, I have not watered my tomatoes today so anyway hello Stephanie my love I hope you are well so basically all you have to remember is you know this guy is driving okay that guy is driving there we go it's really not difficult once you get it. And I seem to be pretty good with, you know, once I know the pattern, I know the pattern. And, you know, I don't, I don't really get too awful confused. Um, I seem to do that with crochet and knitting, too. Once I have it, um, I'm okay. Oh, you're having an auction, another auction. Well, that's nice, Emily. Stephanie says that it is glorious. 67 degrees in Vancouver, Washington. That's nice. I like that type of weather. Okay. So, yep, that's... I like the 60s and 70s. I like 40s and 50s at night and... 60s and 70s during the day. That's good. There we go. It's 93 and 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 just northeast of San Diego in Hemet, California. Oh, that sounds fun. Oh, Stephanie is upload has already uploaded her video for tomorrow. It is a red, white and blue hydrangea using bubble wrap. So, yeah, so go check that out. It's going to launch tomorrow. I still have to get mine started. My uh, acrylic August. I'm calling it. I've been trying to take care of a few other things lately, so... Oh, that's 
that's nice, Emily. You can handle the 70s? Yeah, with a nice cool breeze. Yep. Okay, that one goes there. So you can kind of see what happened right there. And then you can see the square form. If you don't see the square form, you know you got to undo it and do it again. Linda's still loving the warm weather. Hi, Chris. How are you? Chris Crafting is in the house. Okay. So I have to do 30 centimeters of this. I'm glad you're doing good. I'm fine. Sunjay is actually coming down tomorrow. Oh boy, oh boy. That means I gotta clean the house. Or part of it anyway. I have to make a feeble attempt to make it look somewhat clean. Did I do that right? Let's let's undo that. Yes. Yes. So I'm making this tote bag to be my new new um new Bible tote bag. I got I got treated myself to a pretty one. And it's a study Bible, so it's got lots of information in it that helps you understand it. So, yep, I'm very, very excited about that. Okay, and 30 centimeters is going to be... Oh, I tossed it aside. How dirty can you get? Oh, with just me. Oh, well, I got. Don't forget, there's there's Miss Rosie Pose, and then there's Mr. Dinky Do. So they all they all contribute to the mess. All right, so I have to go longer than this. So maybe what I'll do is I will move this up a wee bit. Move this up so I can. Tighten this end. Okay. And <clears throat> I'm missing. Here it is. And I dropped it. Okay. Yeah, me too. I miss them. <clears throat> All right, so I'll have to go down to this here. So I will stick a pin there so I know where to start. There we go. Okay. <clears throat> Okay. 
So is anybody crafting along with me tonight? Doing anything interesting? Anything fun? Anything exciting? Okay, and I think I can zoom in a wee bit if you think it would help. So you can see what's going on. There it is. You can see the square. Whoops. There, you can see the square. You're sealing chalk inspirational cards. Oh, that's nice. That sounds cool. Okay. And if it doesn't look like this, when you start tightening it up, you did it wrong. Hubby went to the ortho doc today. He's having both knees replaced. He will have it done before Thanksgiving and won't go back to work till the new year. Wow. Well, it's a good thing you like them. Otherwise, you know, you might be going crazy. You might need a vacation. You could always come here. So I did let um, I did let the artist Tanya know that I was going to be doing this tonight on my live stream. So uh, if she pops in, have, say everybody say hello and be nice. She does beautiful, beautiful work. If you go, like I said, if you go back uh, to the beginning of my video, I did. Um, Hang on. I did give her credit. I showed her Etsy store. I showed her YouTube channel. And um, showed, showed the pattern. And you can see the pattern in the upper right-hand corner of the screen. Get the twisties out of here. And right away you can see the square. Oh, bummer. I'm sorry to hear that, Spanky. Well, I will be praying for you. Okay. Yes, I, I am quite guilty of that, Shelly. Um, the first time I tried a fisherman, uh, the first time I tried to knit, and remind, remember, I am left-handed, and the person that I learned how to knit from was right-handed, my, my dear sweet friend, Mrs. Edgar. Um, so I would sit across from her and watch. So the first time I attempted to, um, to knit, I was knitting left-handed and I started with a 14 pattern fisherman knit sweater. Yup, 14 patterns for an adult male sweater. Yep, I did it. Took me six weeks and I did it. Um, yeah. And um, I, I stopped knitting, well, quite a while ago because I had problems with my tension. So um, I gave it up for a while. I moved to crochet. And then I said, oh, I would like to try that pattern. It was knit. So um, 
I decided to try and teach myself how to knit right-handed and I had no troubles after that. So, um, yeah. So when I start something, I don't start small. <laughs> That's my problem. But, um, you know, I figured if I don't like the way this turns out, I can just undo it, you know. You know, I, I have to do, I have to, and I can see here that I made a little boo-boo, but that's fine. I don't care. The pattern is not consistent here. So the one thing that you have to remember when doing this, this pattern is this, mark one of them so that you know that it is, yes, I, <laughs> well, thank you, Sandra. <laughs> go big or go home. Yeah, that's me. Um. So yeah, you just want to make sure that you're always driving with this marked thread. And it's always going uh, counterclockwise. Or if you want to go clockwise, you can do that. But just remember, just be consistent. That's the main thing, is to be consistent. Yes, yeah, Sandra has that problem too, huh? Oh, and Shelly has that problem. You know, because I watch all these YouTube videos and I go, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, I want to do that. So, you know, I, I jump right in. And I saw, I saw her pattern. She did a promo uh, video um, and YouTube's policies are such that I cannot show you another person's videos on this channel, even though I'm promoting them. Um, so I can't show you the promo. It was like one and a half minutes long and it was about this, you know, showed you all the pictures of the per person and everything. So, um, I popped on over there and, uh, I noticed that the pattern was on sale. So I went, oh yeah. And I asked her, I said, can you tell me how much, uh, cord I need so I can get it? Because I, as soon as, as soon as, I have that cord. I want to buy the pattern and get to it. So, um, so yeah, she told me. Um, I can tell you, and this is not giving away anything, that you need 184 um, meters. And a meter is 39 inches. I added, I added information about her in my video description. So if you scroll down, you'll see it. It's at the very top, um, and it says, um, you know, that I'm starting the tote bag, and um, you know that I'm I'm going to be showing you knots because knots can't be copper copyrighted. It's the positioning of the knots and the design of the bag that is copyrighted. So this knot, like I said, this you know it's standard rope tying knot not copyrighted but um, I do want to give her credit because um, you know she spent a long time probably coming up with these patterns and she's very prolific she's always got new new patterns on um, on her channel so go show her some love you can tell her I sent you Okay, and again, see, you can do work that's inspired by other artists, like what Sandra did with the, um, with the, um, what do you call it, the birdhouse that she's been working on. She's ta she's taken um, a really tiny. Uh, birdhouse that is like really made out of really cheap wood and she is covering it um, in clay to give it strength so you can do that I'm just trying to get some of the kinks out of the the cord here should take a picture of your macrame purse. Oh yeah, definitely 
yeah, take a picture of it. Show it. it post it in the flock, and I'll uh, I'll go look at the picture. And I want to remind folks, today is July 2nd. Uh, the Friendship Swap sign-ups will be open until um, July 5th. So if you can sign up for it, I would love it very much because I'd like to get some fresh blood in, in the, the swap. So it's more fun for, I don't want to have to keep sending people, you know, the same, the same um, partners. But if I don't get newbies to sign up, that's going to happen. Yeah, I bet you that's going to be really, really pretty, Sandra. She's She got the roof on the other day. I don't know if she got any further. I had to go. I couldn't stay and, uh, and watch. Just snug it up good. You got the roof and one wall, okay. Okay. Once you once you get the hang of this pattern, um it goes you know kind of quickly. It's just a wee bit finicky. Until you until you get the hang of the hang of the way things go. So Sandra, if you want to post a picture to the flock, I will go show it to everybody. Hi Connie, sweetheart. It was pretty dead after you, oh and Martha didn't stay much longer yeah that happens I was not I just I was not feeling all that swift I needed to go lay down Come on, there we go. The easiest way to do this, I guess, it to you know to show people how to how it works is to do it with four different colors So the guy should be coming tomorrow morning to install my screens in the studio. And my storm door will be um, will be uh, delivered the middle of the week, I think, or the middle of next week. So that's good. You posted the stuff you're working on now? Okay, let me go take a look.
Okay, this is Sandra's birdhouse. That's the roof. And that's the one wall she did. So that looks pretty awesome. And now, Linda. Oh my god, Linda! <laughs> I love it! Hang on, I gotta love this. And then I have to go down and do this. And oh my god, here's the table mess and my babies that I'm working on. Oh my god. Those are epic. <laughs> oh my god. I am so going to do that. <laughs> Wow. Oh, Linda. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> Those are epic. Those are truly epic. Carrie says that... Uh, Linda's babies remind her of Toy Story. That that's pretty epic. Yeah, you're my kind of sicko, Linda. That is I those are those are fantastic. And we're almost we're almost down to the down to the spot. Well, let me know. I mean, send us a link. You can share the link to your shop, Linda. Because, heck, this gal here might, might buy a couple. They're a scream. I love them. Yeah, the Falters can, yeah. And see, that's a great way to, to use up old stuff like, like the old tins that may not be collector, you know, collector worthy. You know, they're beat up or whatever. It's a great way to just recycle. Definitely post them when you're when they're done. Hey Mary, how are you, sweetheart? <laughs> she says Hi my sicko friend Linda. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry you're not feeling well, Mary. I'll say prayers for you. And I forgot to bring um, my my lighter over here. Um, so I can't burn the ends of this. I'll have to do that later. But I think what I want to end up doing now is I'm going to put some washi tape on this and get rid of this stupid string. It's driving me crazy. And they really they really don't need to be 
tied up anymore, I don't think. And if you don't have any way of demarking it, you could make sure that you tie a knot in one end. Any, just any way you can mark it so you know which is which. Well, thank you, Linda. Thank you. Okay, that's going there, and that's going there. Let me scooch that up forward a little bit. Straightening it out. It's been a little wild around you, huh? You've had kids all day. Hopefully they didn't run you too ragged. Okay. From age 10 to 2. Oh man, that 2 would be really hard. They've learned the word no then. And they like to test. They like to test you. You had the 17-year-old since Saturday, joined by a 7-year-old sister all day today. Tomorrow does not exist in my schedule. Oh, dear. <laughs> Crashing and burning for sure, huh? Hers is stop. Oh, boy. <laughs> yeah, once they learn the word no, you can have them back. That's when grandmothering is, is no longer fun. And then once, then you need, you need a hiatus until they grow up a little and, and, you know, learn some respect. Then, then they can become fun again. Like I so love the Rotens kids. They are just so fantastic. They all know respect and honor and uh, discipline and they're caring individuals and I just I love being surrounded by them it just makes my heart sing it really does Actually, I'm gonna. I gotta get the get the boys on the schedule. They gotta come over here and 
get the dirt off my bridge. I've got about a thousand pounds of mud that is sitting on my bridge and that's not good. Every time I go across you slide a little. Yours are pretty good, Mary? With you, yeah, but not not each other, yeah. No, 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 dum-dum. This way. Picked up the wrong pile. So again, if you're just joining me, I'm trying to keep track of things here. If you all are just joining me, I want to remind you that tonight's pattern is by a very, very, very talented macrame artist. Um, her name is Tanya Sivanovic, and she's from Croatia. And if you look in the description box down below, you will see a link to her uh, Etsy store and a link to her YouTube channel. And the tote bag that I am making is in the top right corner of the screen. So um, please do check her out and show her some love. She's got hundreds of videos to look at and uh, she's very very talented so please do show her some love and the pattern that I'm working on is actually on sale right now so and it's an hour long video that shows you in detail every every step so it's definitely worth it And she's very quick to respond also, so that's nice. And she's very, very willing to help you if you run into a problem or if you have questions. So, uh, go check her out. The name of her YouTube channel is uh, Macrame Magic Knot. And I'm not going to be showing you the pattern. Um, I'm just showing you the process. I don't know as to whether or not there's a quicker way of doing this knot. You kind of have to sneak up on it and keep it all taut. Well, it's looking pretty good. It's, it's consistent in the width. And I only have to go two, three, four, five more squares and I'm done with this one. And then I have to move on to the next one. Stay put. Your 17 year old has had a lot of child care of his now seven year old sister, he tells us. That it has been the best form of birth control, yes. <laughs> well, that's good. There won't be any surprises then. That's always a fear. That is always a parent's fear. Oh my god, they could breed. Okay. 
this cord works nice. It, um, it sometimes you worry about this this uh, polypropylene or whatever it is. What is it called? It is. Polyolefin, 100% polyolefin, P-O-L-Y-O-L-E-F-I-N, polyolefin. Well, that's what I'm using. Um, I, I always worry about this stuff, co constantly wanna, wanting to... Um, undo the knot but um, it's it's snugging up nicely So I'm sorry that I'm not doing the altered cigar box. Um, that was the number one on my um, on my poll on the flock as to what people wanted to see me do. But unfortunately, I don't have I don't have the stuff yet. Um, the beads should be here soon, and Sanjay's bringing me sandpaper. So um, hopefully, I can do that on. Um, on Thursday, I should be able to, I hope, on Thursday's show. So let's see, Wednesday, okay, Wednesday is a holiday, so I probably won't have mail, I think, or will I? I can't remember. I think, I think I used to get that July 4th off or a holiday in place of July 4th? I can't think, I can't think of it. Don't know. Does anybody know if there's mail on Wednesday, on July 4th? I cannot remember. Thursday? Oh, Thursday is a holiday? Oh, uh, well, maybe I'll get them tomorrow then. How are you? So yeah, well, hopefully, hopefully, I'll get the um, the beads that I need um, on Wednesday, and uh, I can start on the the altered cigar box on Thursday. We'll we'll hope. You're exhausted, but okay. Well, very, very busy day at work. Well, I guess that's good. Busy days usually go fast, right? At least I think they do. All right, I'm, I'm done with these knots. They're a pain in the neck. There we go. Okay.
I used to prefer to be busy. Okay. Where is it? There it is. I'm trying to keep track of that end with the tape on it. You like it you like busy days, but not that crazy busy, yeah. Oh it's hot oh yeah, well that sucks. I worked in IT and IT always kept things cold because computers don't like it hot. Okay, uh, Mary, feel better please. It's getting there. Let me get the tape measure and see how long it is. Yeah, 30 is down to this little line here. Okay. Yeah, that's what ha happened with me on Monday. So that's why I had to leave Sandra's video um, when she was working on her birdhouse. I was just not feeling well. Okay, I'm going to do a couple more of those. Okay, let's let's straighten that out, shall we? Hang on, mommy's mommy's getting confused here. There we go. I got way too much string all over the place here. Okay, where's the one with the 
There's the tape. There we go. Sometimes it just does not want to snug up. There we go. That's going there. So who else is crafting tonight? What are you making? I know that Linda's working on her, her babies, her new babies. Oh boy, are they creepy. I like them. Uh, Sandra is, what did Sandra say she was doing? Can't remember. Who else is doing something? Is my darling daughter-in-law doing anything crafty tonight? She was working on something the other night, and I think she showed it on and finished working on it on uh, Cranky Crafters. You're shopping for rhinestones? Well, hey, there you go. I like I like the sparklies. Yes, sirree, I do. Oh, we're getting there. Oh, yes, sirree. hang correctly. Thank you. Where do you uh, get your rhinestones, Sandra? Because, you know, a girl needs her bling. Hey, look at that. We're at 30. So that takes care of that one. That one is done. So I can, oh, I can disconnect it. You get them on eBay? I'll have to do that. Do you get them from China or what? So that's one handle. And... I hope I did it right. Maybe maybe it is the same. Let's see. Yeah, it is. Okay, basically. All right, so that's one handle. And it doesn't look too awful bad. I can I can deal with it. There we go. So that's one. And now I need the other four. Hi Jenny, how are you? That is one handle, and I think was this was this the end of it? There, no, I don't think so. Um. Um. The best buys are from China, yeah. Uh, I have to check something. Just let me check something real quick. Let me check. Eight of them. Alright, let's see how long these are. 
Oh, there it is. Okay, I'm okay now. I'm okay. I was... I had them doubled over. Okay. I have to set up this, and it's very, very long. Okay. Okay, I have to measure this 110. Hundred and ten. And that's where I'm going to pin down. And this pile will go in the back. And this shows you basically how to get this thing started. And I want to just put a pin there for a hot little second there. Because I want to measure up 30 centimeters from this line. Okay. That is going to be it. I know you can't see. Just give me a second. I am just pinning these down to anchor them and to make it easier for me to measure and all of that there stuff. And I'm just going to make sure that they all end up at the same spot. Um, no, one of them is significantly longer. Which one is that? That's this one. Okay. So we're going to pull that one up some. That should do it. All right, there we go. And now, I had another pin that I was using to cover that, but I'll just leave it like that. Okay. Now I have to roll these up. Just check that one more time. From there to... Okay. Okay, there we go. All right. I'm going to coil up one end, the, the ends so they're not so long and obnoxious. Nikki says she'll be right back. Let's hold her to that now. Alright, that's one. And I guess we can stick that one up there. Okay. 
that's the one thing that uh, slows this process down is the sit-up. It's like weaving, which, by the way, I'm getting into. <laughs> I'm going to wait for my birthday check and I'm going to get myself um, a weaving loom because I've always wanted one. I'm not getting a big one. Not getting a big one. Ah, oh, Linda took her shower. I thought I smelled. Uh, what do they call that soap? Coast. The eye opener, is it? The eye opener. All right. I'm just trying to make some kind of knot. It's not really working. Okay. So we have one that's up there and one that's over there. Dial and Dove. Yes, there you go. Okay. So, I'm going to mark one of them to be the driving one. And I'm just making it kind of large and obnoxious so I don't forget which one it is. So that's the driving one. So that's the one we start with. So that goes up there like this. And the opposite one goes down like this. And then this goes in here. And this goes in here. And that's how you get started with this. first knot is finicky because uh, more finicky than the others because it's got nothing to hold on to so you can temporarily stab it just until you get the next one done just so it doesn't go anywhere on you Okay, now, let's do that again. This way, and this way, and in here, and in here. You're ready to soak your head in the kitchen sink? Oh, oh boy, do I, I, I am so happy I'm not in Long Island anymore because man alive the, the, the summers are horrible it's so hot and miserable okay let's get that snugged up okie doke and then it's basically the same thing over and over Go. I remember just opening up the freezer and sticking my head in. There we go. Okay, where is... There it is. Got to keep looking for this.
Oh, Nikki's back. That's good. So, um, um, you decided to harvest some magazines? Oh, there you go. I love me some harvesting of magazines. Okay. This goes pretty quick because the, the cord is thick. This is four mil, which is about a quarter of an inch. About, I guess, let's see. Three sixteenths. I think five six. I think um, five mil is the closest thing to um, the closest thing to a quarter. I believe. Okay, that did not work. And if that happens to you, just undo it and start over. Put everything back the way it was. Because sometimes my brain has a cramp. Okay, we're driving this one. That goes like that. This goes like that. This goes over here. And this goes over here. There we go. That's a mold bed over. Okay. Is there it is. Oh dear, my little roll here unraveled. So what kind of magazines are you harvesting, Nikki? Some Vogues or some funny ones or... Grab a drink. Good old mountain spring water. Oh, Triple A Travel Magazine. Cool beans. Okay. I need I need me some more spring. Thank you. There we go. Let's see if I can't. Okay, so I am going this way and that way. It's 
Sanjay brought me a huge pile, huge pile of AAA maps, real maps. Imagine that. He used to love collecting those. This is just not staying wrapped up. I'm sure that there is some particular knot that I can use to quickly coil and uncoil this. But, you know, he didn't get much out of that one? Well, that's a bummer. Come on, tighten up. Oh, fudge. Some magazines are duds. trying to make a quick little like slip knot here to hold that in place that worked that worked nicely okay let's do this now you're working on a timeless European travel mag well there you go that's nice I have to say I was very disappointed um, in, in the uh, Birds and Bloom magazine subscription that I got from Amazon. Because when you buy it on the newsstand, the paper is much better and the magazine is larger. Um, not larger in, in square inches, but um, more pages and more photos. And I kind of feel like I was taken because the magazine was real thin the paper was really horrible quality, and I was extremely disappointed. And with the first issue, hi Sherry, with the first issue, it came uh, it came an offer to get the better one, Birds in Bloom Extra. So I was really annoyed at that. I kind of, you know, feel like it was like a bait and switch. Like, I don't, I don't even think it would be successful if I tried to, you know, do the reverse collage. So, because the paper was so thin. Come on, tighten up. There we go. Is going on here there we go that's a better and this needs to be rolled up That should be good. 
Oh, you pulled on the wrong loop. Hang on. Spazzo. Hey, Mark, how you doing? His royal spudness is in the house. You did it again. Oh my goodness. Some days I am a total spazaroo. There it is. That's the one I want. Okay. Where is my... There it is. You're currently melting? Yeah, it gets hot up there. What's the temperature here? It is currently 72 degrees here. Oh my god, Nikki. It's 92 there, but it feels like 96. Yeah, that's not for me. No bueno. I'm not a fan of the real high heat. Okay, where is my little bit of, there it is. Is Nikki, are you in Irvine? Is that where you are? remembered her saying oh you're in Iowa oh okay well that's not Irvine Iowa's roll not all that far from me a couple of states I guess other side of Kentucky maybe or West Virginia Hang on, I'm just trying to shorten this. There we go. Yeah, right? <laughs> Jenny says if it keeps up, it's going to evaporate Lake Michigan. Okay. Let 
There it is. Hello, Chris. Chris is finally back. I'm working on my second handle and this is all falling apart so let me coil it up a wee bit these ends can be pretty crazy Get a wee bit more out of there. Okay. What am I doing? I am, there we go. I'm doing this and this. You had You had shrimp with sweet potato fries and hush puppies and tater sauce and cinnamon butter. Wow, that sounds good. I prefer the unadulterated sweet potato. I just put salt and pepper on it. I don't I don't think it needs much else other than that but yeah shrimp yeah i like me shrimp i like me lobster too This one fell apart. You feel sunburned and you haven't even been outside? Oh, that's not good. Okay, where did, that's it, I gotta get the crinkles out of here. You tried baked sweet potato and didn't like it, but that's the only way I don't like sweet potato. Okay. It's freezing in your studio and the dumb thing is on low. <laughs> Man, I wish I had that problem. I know you like the heat, Linda, but I don't. That's the one way that me and my dad were different. He loved hot and humid. He, well, I don't know about humid, but man, he loved he loved Florida. I was really surprised when my stepmom decided to stay in Florida because she didn't like the humidity. But she wanted to stay close to her son, so that makes sense. That makes sense to me. 
You have you have a love hate relationship with your air conditioner? Yeah. And this one's falling apart. Okay. Where is there it is? Oh, somebody was saying before um, how how I just jump into things. You know, I did I did this last. When did I do it? Thursday or Friday? I think I did it on Friday. And yeah, I was I was having fun, and some folks were not ready to go, but PJ and Carrie were really tired, so I popped over and I I did the stream on on my channel, and uh, I finished the thing, and uh, you know. I, it looks horrible because <laughs> it's the first time I've done it in 40 plus years. But then I go directly from that right into um, this, uh, this tote bag. That's just the way I roll. Jump in with both feet. I need to. You've been watching your dad sleep for a while now. Once in a while he wakes up and shaking his head and falls back to sleep. <laughs> you got the TV on for him? My dad loved the TV. And I, he, he'd be, you know, supposedly watching the television, but he'd be out cold. So my stepmom would change the channel, and he'd wake up. Well, I was watching that. <laughs> no, you weren't. You were asleep. Oh, you got the third wall up on the birdhouse. That's great, Sandra. That's what he says, yeah. You're watching Big Brother? I never liked those uh, those type of reality shows. Hello there, 
Mr. Joy, how are you? Uh-oh, that's not good. Nikki just got a weather alert saying there are strong thunderstorms coming. Well, take cover, girl. You just don't feel like getting up and changing the station. <laughs> I I don't watch, I mean, I watch Hulu and YouTube TV and things like that, but I've really tried, I'm trying, trying hard to get over the, the, the TV crutch um, because, you know, I got, I got, I could be doing more productive things and vegging out in front of the television, but there are days, boy, I'll tell you, when I don't move. Half the sky is, what, pregnant with very dark clouds, and the other half is white clouds and blue sky. The clouds are pregnant, or the sky is... Was that a typo? Yeah, I like to listen to music too. Um, in fact, that's usually what I end up doing. When I'm over here by myself and I'm not filming, if I'm filming like the acrylic paintings that, are, that, that I'm gonna be doing in August, those um, are, they're not going to have any, any vocals or audio. I'm just going to, I'm just going to uh, play music. The clouds are pregnant, as in rain. Okay. I've never heard that, um, that phrase before. I bet you if Sanjay's listening, I'm sure he's heard it. His master's. Actually, his Ph.D. Um, is in, uh, what do you call it, meteorological computer, computering, computer stuff. Did it caught, yeah, it kind of caught me off guard. I've never heard that before. Pregnant? Who's pregnant? Let me get a sip of water. Yeah, I know. Uh-oh, uh-oh, Linda got herself some cornflakes.
they have um, me and me and cereal don't get along I've said this before there's you know the, I have a love-hate relationship with it because I love it so much that I I there is no there is no over until the box is gone or I run out of milk so because you know you put cereal in it and then you pour milk in it and you get down to the bottom and you still got milk left so what do you do you put more cereal in it and it just goes on and on and on so um, but Special K came up with a high protein um, a high protein cereal so I've tried that I like it but I'm trying to get over the the have to eat it all situation because it's not good for you if it gets noisy it's because you're chewing on ice okay <laughs> You go over there and you go over there just plain old cornflakes you like them huh Okay, let's let's get some length here. I think I'm going in the wrong direction. No, I'm going this way. I'm going in the right direction. Don't, don't get panicky, Melissa. Yeah, that's my problem. I really love me some cereal too, Nikki. That is no bueno. You use almond milk instead of regular milk. I've done the. I've made my own almond milk. It's real easy to do. But um, yeah, I still try and stay away from the. Stay away from it. Stay there. Stay there. All right, hang on. Hold the phone. Mommy, mommy got a mess here. There we go. That's going like that. Like that. There we go.
Four seconds awake, huh? <laughs> and then he started to snooze again. This does not look right. No. Something happened here. Just undo it and start over. Don't panic. There we go. All right. Let's try that again. That's going over there. That's going over there. This one, which is coming apart, is going there. And this one's going there. There we go. That's some old betterer. heavens. I used to enjoy watching my father snooze. He worked hard all of his life. He's entitled. I do miss him. Okay, where are we? Here we are. I think we need more string. And this stuff does like to kink now. Okay. You're going over here. You're going over here. And you're going over here. Oh, your dad is still working on the addition? Uh, my dad was 91 and he was still trying to get on a ladder to clean out the gutters. He was he was kind of starting to go a wee bit on the on the senile side, and uh, it was getting more and more difficult for my mom to keep him out of trouble. Trying to get the kinks out of the rope here. Okay, you're going over there. You're going over there. We're a little bit more than. Halfway done, I think. Yeah, about halfway done. Not 
not sure how much more I'll get done on the show. Hang on, hang on. I lost my loop. Lost it, my loop. There we go. So Sanjay's leaving work at noon time, noonish, and he'll drive straight down here. So he should be here probably around, I don't know, 10, 11 o'clock. You have a sappy Hallmark Christmas movies on all day. Hallmark Christmas movies on all day. Another one just ended. Wow. It's, I mean, it's July 4th. <laughs> they, have, they have Christmas movies on? It's the Hallmark Channel? Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't know. We're having, um, not this, not, what's it, let's see. Yeah, I guess it's this weekend. Um, Ash County has its big Christmas in July th festival because we do, um, Ash County is the country's largest producer of Christmas trees. And we, um, always have a festival in July. And it's usually good, you know, there's a lot of art, a lot of, artisans that um, are selling their wares and whatnot and we've gotten some some nice furniture from from there but my problem is I don't like crowds and for the last two years it was so crowded I couldn't even find a parking spot so I didn't go That's probably why you're cold, because you're watching Christmas movies. You shouldn't be watching Christmas movies. It's July, dear. Hang on. I need to cut a hangnail. I get the longest hangnails. The cuticles just run all the way up the, the knuckle. Jenny said her her father just talked to him. Just talked to her. Yeah, I, I just I, I can't deal with crowds. I don't come as unhinged as my son, but I don't like crowds.
No one's Sanjay, he's going to want to go to the festival. Which means I have to get up early. Not amused. Not amused! I don't like getting up early. Last night I went to bed, I would say early. I went to bed at I've been getting later and later on going to bed. I just start getting into things around 2 o'clock in the morning. Yeah, that's early. Yeah. <laughs> Sunday night, I don't think I went to sleep until pretty near 4 o'clock. Okay, I did it again. I lost it. There it is. Sorry, I knocked my light over. Your husband wakes up at 4 o'clock to go to work? Oh my god, no, that's too early. So anybody got big plans for July 4th?
I don't know why, but I've been jonesing for some pasta salad. You're looking forward to the swap? Me too, Nikki. Me too. I hope I get lots of folks signing up. That's for sure. I do. Uh, I do enjoy it. It's really nice. This is your. Is this your first time signing up? If it is, I have my my Flocker's friendship journal right behind me. So I'll take it out and I'll show it to you. Hey, Susan, how are ya? Family party at your son's house? Oh, he got his pool up. There you go. Let's see. Where is... Here it is. This is my 2019 Flocker's Journal. And it's just a composition notebook. That's all it is. And I decorated it. And I put a pocket on there. And I put a pocket on in the back. And this this is uh this is from who who was this? This one was from Melon, that's who. Mary Ellen. That big pocket in here. And there's she sent all these lovely books. And this is um, one of those decoupage napkins. You're fighting with your back as usual? Yeah, I know. I get that too. And this one was from let's oh I think this is still part of hers. Yes, it is. It's still part of hers. And uh, let's see, this one was from Oh Kathleen Elliott. She sent really pretty papers and I I couldn't cut them. I just couldn't cut them. So I just did fold outs and corner pockets. Here's another one. This one was fun. So you can do all sorts of fun stuff. And it's meant to be, hi Janet, how are you love? It's meant to really just ha have fun. You know, and I try to make it as economical as possible that way. You know, if, you, if you're if you on a tight budget, uh, you don't have to send a lot. And, you know, I mean, if you just fill up a business-sized envelope with scraps. Oh, I'm so sorry you're not feeling well, Janet. I'll keep you in my prayers. I'm almost done with this handle. Um... You know, if, you, if you're on a tight budget, you know, just take whatever scraps you have around, something that says you, um, and put it in a business size envelope, and that's it. You know, I mean, on the other hand, if you feel like sending the person a boatload of stuff, that's fine. Just don't be upset if it's not reciprocated, because that person that you're partnered with may be on a tight budget. So that's the way it works yeah I'm gonna I think I, I'm gonna what I do is I always wait until the end because if there's an odd number of people then I jump in to fill that Otherwise, you know, I just let, let everybody have a good time. Um, so, um, I don't know if I'll be signing up or not. It depends on whether or not we got an odd or an even. I hope you feel better soon, Janet. 
Um, if you look in the, if, if you're just joining us, in the top right hand corner of the screen, you'll see the bag that I'm making. Um, the artist, uh, I look in my description down below. I have the artist's name, a link to their Etsy shop, and a link to their YouTube channel. She's very, very talented, so go show her some love. She's got like 82,000 subscriber, subscribers, so, you know, a little pee on me isn't going to offer her much help. But, you know, uh, I told her that I would be doing this tonight and that I would be giving her a, a shout out. And I'm not going to be showing the actual pattern. Um, but, you know, I'm showing the knots. Knots are not copyrighted. You can't copyright a knot. You can copyright a collection of knots into a design. So I'm not going to show you the pattern, but I will show you the knots that I'm using. And I have to go down to this pin and then I'll be done. This will be the second, second handle. Okay, Sandra, you have a good night. Enjoy your dinner and good luck at the doctor's tomorrow. Um, that goes here. Okay. All right. Where is it? There it is. So I don't. I don't know the name of this knot. I can't remember it. Um, when you look at it, like here, it looks like a square. And I remember doing it years and years and years ago. I think I did it with gum wrappers too for some reason. Uh, it's not really a square knot. I mean it looks like a square. Let me zoom in. When you look down the very center of it, it does look like a square. But it, it makes a nice spiraled rope. And you always start with um, one particular rope that you've marked. And that goes like that. And that goes like that. This goes over here. And this goes over here. And if it doesn't look like that, then uh, you did it wrong and just backtrack and you can do it again. You used to finger weave, yes, and finger crochet, yeah. And you always start with the marked rope. And I'm going counterclockwise. I don't think it matters if you go clockwise or counterclockwise. Just be consistent. That's the big deal. The consistency.
like I said, I believe that this is similar to something you used to do with gum wrappers. Oh, come on. At least this rope is making you have... Is it making... Yes, I don't have Cheeto fingers. <laughs> yeah, that was a mess. Okay, we're almost done. And I think I might I might actually end things for a while. And uh, head on back there to the house. Or I'll just sit here for five hours and finish this thing. Oh, you dropped me on the floor, huh? <laughs> That's not good. I break. Okay, I need some more water. Okay, Nikki, you be safe in those storms. Seeing me play with string is, is like watching paint dry, I guess.
Come on now. Okay, that that made a mess. Just undo and start over. Yeah, I got about a little bit more than an inch left to go. Mischief is doing a lot better. He's demanding attention, yeah. Oh, my goodness, goodness, goodness. Dinky is mad at me because I have the screened-in porch door um, closed because I have the air conditioner on downstairs. So he's not he's not happy. His playground is unavailable. Okay, half a more wrench. Half a more. Your dad just called you. <laughs> I gotta ask you to give your dad a hug for me. I can't give mine a hug anymore. It makes me sad. You lost me, oh heavens. I was saying that you have to give your dad a hug for me. Because I can't hug mine anymore. Oh, 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 almost done. 
almost done. Hurrah. Uh, have a good night, Jenny. Thanks for being here. Alright, let's see. Is that... No, we're still not there. Thought we were done, but we're not. Almost. See. Well, I got this thing around my neck. Let's measure. No, I think I can do one more. One more. I think I messed that one up. I messed that one up. Let's fix it. Is it just you and me? I, I don't know. It's, it says that there's nine people watching. At this point, I don't think even the trolls would be here. it. I think that that has given us the 30. No, it hasn't. One more. Okay. You're finally home and don't have to work tonight. Well, that's good news. There, that did the 30. Let's check. Let's do a comparison with the other handle. Yup. They are both the same length. I done did it. Okay. So there are our two handles. So now they get put aside and I start on the body and that's going to take some study. So I'll do that off camera. They're done. And I got this new board. Um, I haven't I haven't played with it yet, but this this is my old one. Let me move that out of the way. There we go. Oh, I had to craft a lanch. 
and it got a yellow stain on it. I don't know from where. But this is a silicone mat. This is called the Waffle Flower or Wet Waffle Flower Media Mat. Ding dong. Okay, the guy's coming in the morning to put the, the screens on my studio windows. Let me just tell him about the air conditioning window. Okay, so this is um, this is supposed to be uh, heat proof. What does it say? Uh, Non-stick, waterproof, and heat resistant. 100% silicone, lead-free, no chemical coating. Coating. So there you go. And this is also made with YouTubers in mind because there's no glare. And there's actually little dots here and there that you can zoom your camera into. So we'll have fun playing with this. But that, because that, that glass mat can be a real pain in the patootie. So uh, Thursday night show will depend on, um, yeah, depends on whether or not I get the beads in the mail tomorrow. Um, if I do, then I'll, I'll be doing my uh, altered cigar box. Um, if I don't, I don't know what I'll be doing. Um, maybe playing with this, maybe doing some more painty papers. I know that this thing can stain, so alcohol inks should not be used on this. And anything that is a real penetrating dye, you probably shouldn't do. But like acrylic paints, acrylic sprays, watercolor sprays, um, watercolor paints, those are all fine. But anything that can um, penetrate like alcohol inks shouldn't be used on this. So uh, hopefully it'll be good because um, the glare from the glass mat can be a real pain in the patootie. Um, so yeah, now I have to go uh, figure out what to do with all these, all this string and start on the purse body. But I'll have to concentrate on her instructional video. Again, the artist, um, the artist is uh, Tanya, let me get her last name correct. <clears throat> Tanya Zivanovic. She is from Croatia. Um, if you look in the description box down below, there is a link to her Etsy shop. And her YouTube channel, her YouTube channel name is Macrame Magic Knots. And um, she's very, very talented. And the pattern that you see on the top right corner of your screen is actually on sale right now. It's an hour-long instructional video. So go show her some love. Um, she's got a great YouTube channel. And um, I've been watching, I've been binge-watching her. So, um... <sighs> Anyway, so yeah, that's uh, that was it for tonight. I did the two handles, and there they are. And um, there's a little there's a little bit of a boo boo in the beginning, but that's okay. Nobody will notice. It's going to be a, a Bible bag for my new Bible. So anyway, um, I think that's the show for tonight. 
I want to thank you all for hanging out with me. I want to thank you all for your love and your support. If you're new to the channel, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And uh, please give the video a thumbs up before you leave. Pretty please. You can always leave a kind comment down below. And if you're looking for 400 and some odd new friends who are loving and encouraging and you want to participate in our friendship swap and uh, other things, then come on over to The Flock over on Facebook. The handles look like they would be comfy to carry. Yes, that's exactly the whole point of that. Yes, it is. Uh, because I have highlighters and I have tissues and I have other things that I want to carry in, in, along with the Bible. So um, um, I wanted to make it, you know, nice and pretty and comfortable to carry. So, all right, everybody, I will see you again on Thursday at 7 o'clock. What we're doing is a mystery to me and it'll be a surprise for you. And uh, don't forget, Friday night is Cranky Crafters, usually around 8 o'clock on the Cranky Crafters channel. So please join us then. Okay, everybody, I love you all very, very much. I keep you all in my daily prayers, and I will talk to you real soon. Good night, flockers!